What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a really quick player of the week review today. I wasn't going to do this because I think it's it's quite disappointing. It's quite a poor selection, but you guys were asking me to do it. We're just finished live streaming, so we said we'd get this video out as well. The standout is probably Haaland, but Haaland has got a lot of weaknesses. If you are a newcomer and you are playing this game, you can get a free spin by playing the events. That's the same for every week it refreshes. You play an AI event and you can sim it or you can play it yourself and you can get a free spin. We got our free spin, this guy here. He's okay, I mean, he's a goal poacher, he's got fairly decent dribbling and acceleration, but, like, these cards just do not cut the mustard now, man. They just, they don't do it if you're looking to compete at the higher levels, right? Now, as I said, you are going to be coming up against, time and time again, you're going to be coming up against guys that are just really, really able to get the best out of standard GP cards compared to these, right? But Porto here gets a booster, He's down here, he gets a booster to his speed and acceleration. A very good player as well as a whole player, ball carrying. Super sub fight and spirit. I'm actually going to hide my face here, um, just to show you more of it with his positions and stuff, because you can actually not add any positions or skill trainers to these guys. If you're new, these guys are what they are. You can't train them, you can't change them, you can't adapt them, you can't reset them, you can't do nothing. They are what they are. Dribbling type possession, obviously you're going to be getting the manager boost as well with these. So for example, with Lorente here... This guy is going to have more, more stats when you pair him up with Guardiola or Javi Alonso. But again, Paulinho and Minamino, there's been different cards that are like this. Either a whole player or a creative player in midfield. This guy's too slow. His acceleration and balance is too slow. It's just an average AMF. Minamino is quite good. Acceleration and balance and type possession is good. Finishing and low pass. It's a fairly average card. He's down as a Roman flank. You can't train any other skills in him, but one touch pass is nice. Double touch is nice. Track back is nice. And he's got some shooting stats as well. Suarez... Listen, he's so slow, man. Stamina and speed, you can't tweak at all. Attacking awareness and finishing is nice. Aggression is 77, should have been 99 probably. But um, yeah, it's a nice chance to get Suarez. He looks decent in the game. It's nice to have him as the 36-year-old is quite decent. He's on A rating. But yeah, he doesn't get a booster either. And then, of course, we have Bosco as well here. Uh, Bosco is... is Bosca, Boscagli, is that his name? Uh, blocker and interception as a build-up CB. Fairly decent stats, to be honest with you. I would definitely prefer if he was a destroyer, though, because his stats are more aggressive. Defensive awareness is nice, but he's not that fast. Um, and his heading isn't that good either for the, for the height. So that kind of brings us on to the top boys here. We've already covered this guy. Goalkeeper, we never really talk about the goalkeepers. They are what they are. Haaland, Thiago Silva, Brahim Diaz, and Harvey Elliott. Right, so for Liverpool fans, Elliott is going to be interesting. Speed, acceleration, kick and power, balance, stamina, tight possession, low pass, lofted pass, and aggression. It's a decent card as a whole player. Um, he's still got his old hairstyle, even though the card is, is done up with his new mop. Um, soul control, rising shot, one touch pass, long range shooting, cut behind and turn, long range curler, pinpoint crossing, outside curl, true pass and one touch pass, blah, 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 blah. The real trick with Harvey Elliott is the fact that he's got trickster, amazing run, speeding bullet and incisive run. Height 170, 62 weight. It's a really, really solid card if you're looking to play with a Liverpool uh, player. That is like, you know, got potential to have A rating for a while. Obviously, the season is winding down. Thiago Silva gets a booster. So this is probably going to be Thiago Silva's last booster for Chelsea. Interception, blocker, area of superiority. I had him on my free-to-play account, and he was a monster. Not this exact card, but this card is down as a destroyer, and it's a beast of a card, right? It's an absolute beast of a card. Tackling is high, if defensive awareness is high, his acceleration and physical contact are okay. Obviously, I'd like to speed and acceleration a little bit more to be meta, but for a newcomer, this guy won't let you down. And then we also have Brahim Diaz, 90 acceleration, balance is going to go to 90, ball control, dribbling and tight possession would be probably around 90 as well with Guardiola or Xavi Alonso. Of course, Madrid into the Champions League again. He's got soul control, double touch, and he also has heel trick and one touch pass, but he doesn't have flip flaps, so you can't do the ball roll with him. But it's an okay card. He's very light on his feet. That leaves us with, last but not least, Erling Haaland, who's fresh off a card here that scored four goals. Now, this is one of the best cards that they ever released of Haaland. It goes to like 103 overall. He's got heading, rising shot, long-range curler. He doesn't have super sub, and he doesn't have one-touch pass. You can't train those. But he does have heading and area superiority, long-range shooting, first-time shot, long-range curler, rising shot, acrobatic finishing, and fighting spirit. Haaland is definitely one of the best cards to bring on, but the super sub variant of him is probably better. Finishing at 96 brings this card up from like a 94 overall to like a 99 overall. And also the physical contact and kick and power is massively let down. The fact that Haaland has 65 tight possession and 60 balance. It's just a tough card to get used to, man. It's just a tough card to get used to. Now I will say one thing, okay? I will say one thing with Haaland. 
as a goal poacher, I think every single card in here, as a player of the week that's going to cost you coins, is going to be overshadowed by the brand new agent that they have brought in here, right? Because if you have one nominating contract, and we'll do a review and a training guide of these, we're just fresh off a stream, Okafor is probably better than any striker in the player of the week, and Rudiger is an absolute demon destroyer centre-back that you can get for free after playing 15 games on the match pass. So Adama Traore is down as a four-star, Porto is down here as well. He has a similar card, very similar card actually, to the other card. So I definitely think there's no time to or no no point in really spinning for the player of the weeks this week. But that is the player of the week. Let me know if you spin or you skip. I'll be back later. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. If you missed the stream, it was a big one today. Thanks to everybody for all the support. It was absolutely crazy. But make sure you join the channel if you have uh, not joined already. Catch up on the stream and we'll talk to you in a little bit. Peace.